Hey, welcome, guys. Yeah, so uh, previously we talked about the limit uh, with the, the uniform convergence. So this video, uh, let's prove the integral of the uniform con uh, uniform convergence. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so uh, before I... Uh, okay, so let's, let's prove this. Okay, so let's prove it's so-called the uniform convergence in the integral. Okay, so remember uh, what we previous <clears throat> that the, what we previous proved is that when f n approached f uniform convergence, and obviously the uniform convergence implies that piecewise convergence, right? So if f n implies f uniform convergence, then uh, one can exchange a limit. One can exchange limit and uh, and uh, so basically two limits right one is n goes to infinity one is an sat approach x right so basically uh if it's you, uh, you you can prove this uh like, like this right? you can easily prove this so basically what we have proof is just uh so there's a small car corollary that uh, if f and county continuous, then the one can definitely get the f is continuous. Okay, so now we prove the uniform uh, convergence in an integral. Okay, so still when, uh, when alpha is monotone increasing, so standard uh, conclusion, the standard setting, and uh, let's say f and belongs to Riemann uh, R's integral or Riemann integral respect to alpha, on AB and uh, and the FN is a uniform continuous, sorry, uniform convergence to F. Then, so we, we need to prove two things, right? The first is that F is a, can be do, can do a Riemann integration. And the moreover, uh, FN AB, the alpha limit N goes to infinity, well, same as F, the alpha AB. So basically, if you have a uniform convergence, then they're very happy that your integral can exchange with the limit. Okay, so see a proof. Okay, so the proof is uh, not difficult. Let's define epsilon to be sup uh, fn of x minus f of x. So f is a convergent, the piecewise convergent function, a pointwise convergent function with respect to f. Okay, and uh, so for each a b, Right, each you, you can easily see the uh, you can easily see this. Right, this is just right writing down definition, and then you do the integration. Let's say you do integral. Okay, so your a b f n minus epsilon n the alpha is greater. So this is you are greater than what the upper the the lower the the lower sum right so. Sorry, the, the lower integral and also greater than the upper integral, right? This is def this is basically the property of f. Then uh, you can easily see this, right? So f n plus epsilon n. Okay. Uh, now you can, so what is the definition of the f can be do an integral, right? There are lower uh, uppers, there uh, upper sum, the upper integral, and the lower integral difference can be arbitrarily small, right? So one can write. Right? So to be bounded by these two, by right? these two, right? So these two minus will give you uh, two epsilon n, the alpha a b, okay? And this epsilon n is constant, right? So it's two epsilon n alpha of b minus alpha of a, okay? So I think you get answer, right? Because because when n goes to infinity, so as n goes to infinity, epsilon n will goes to zero, right? This is what we pre what I previous proof in the many I got a previous video that I proved that uh, if you have a function which piecewise continuous, uh, sorry, piecewise a uh, pointwise convergence. And they will define your uh, nn to be least, and you can easily prove that the fn converges to f uniform convergence if and only if mn goes to zero as n goes to infinity. Okay, so now uh, now everything is trivial, right? So just that, so just that. 
single to infinity, then upper bound and lower bound can be arbitrary small, right? So epsilon n goes to infinity. So we prove that f is integrable, right? F is r alpha on AB. Right? Not only that, because f is r alpha in AB, right? So if n goes to infinity, these two goes to zero, then your f limit f integral of f will the same as f of n. Okay, so uh, proof of what we got to prove. So basically, we already proved that uh, continuous uniform convergence uh, exchange with the limit uh, and, the, and the uniform convergence uh, can save you, uh, let's say, can save the integral. Okay, so what's the next? So next should be talk about the integral, the uniform convergence and the differential. Okay, so this is our uh, next video. Subscribe to my channel. See you guys.